Pertussis testing, collecting a nasopharyngeal swab clinical specimen. It is essential to use correct technique when collecting and transporting specimens for laboratory testing. This video will demonstrate how to correctly collect and transport a nasopharyngeal or NP swab. Before performing the procedure, make sure you have the following materials on hand. Gloves, a paper surgical mask for covering your nose and mouth. There is no need for an N95 mask. A biohazard bag for disposals. Facial tissues for patient use. Eye protection to protect you from coughs, sneezes, or splashes. A shipping container with cold packs and a biohazard label. Swab specimens should be obtained from the posterior nasopharynx. Throat swabs and anterior nasal swabs have unacceptably low rates of recovery, and these specimen samples should never be collected for pertussis diagnosis. Ideally, you should collect two NP swabs, one to be used for culture and one to be used for PCR. One swab for culture and PCR is also acceptable. The NP swab tips may be composed of polyester, such as Dacron or Rayon, or they may be nylon flocked. The swab shaft should be aluminum or flexible plastic. Cotton tipped or calcium alginate swabs are not acceptable as residues present in these materials may inhibit PCR assays. When collecting NP swabs, you'll also need a tube containing semi-solid Reagan Low transport auger. Once you have the necessary supplies on hand, you can collect the specimen following these steps. First, put on your mask and eye protection. Following hand washing, put on your gloves. Ask the patient if he or she has a deviated septum or nasal obstruction, and then ask them to blow their nose to remove any excess mucus from the nasal cavity. Gently insert the swab straight back into a nostril aiming posteriorly along the floor of the nasal cavity until reaching the posterior wall of the nasopharynx, being careful not to insert it upwards. The distance from the nose to the ear gives an estimate of the distance the swab should be inserted. Do not force the swab. If an obstruction is encountered, try the other nostril. Leave swab in place for up to 10 seconds and then remove slowly. After collection, place one NP swab in a Reagan Low transport tube for culture and the other NP swab in an empty tube for PCR. It is important to use Reagan Low transport auger, which contains the antibiotic cephalexin to prevent overgrowth of normal nasopharyngeal flora. Depending on the brand of swab used for collection, the shaft may need to be bent slightly, cut, or broken off at the score mark to fit the swab into the transport tube. If only one swab can be obtained, place it in the Reagan Low transport tube, which can be used for both culture and PCR. Store tubes at four degrees Celsius and transport to the lab within 24 hours of collection in a cooler with ice packs to maintain four degrees Celsius. Plating for culture will need to be completed within 24 hours of specimen collection, so timely transportation to the laboratory is essential. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC.